Hello and welcome back. It's great to see you guys back here. I am so excited today because Prodigy English is live now. It is out of early access and they've added some features uh, this past week that uh, I'm just going to be exploring right now. So super excited to be here with you guys and I uh, hope you enjoy this. So um, I have already uh, got my market stall all the way up to level three. So that's fully upgraded. I was very excited to uh, go ahead and try to get some um, other buildings and was really looking forward to having some other buildings to upgrade. So we're gonna walk around and see uh, some of the changes. And first there is a uh, member box. And so for members, you could get more wish coins. Um, I don't know if this is live or not. Um, I might be exploring this for my daughter and I might let you know um, what it looks. But there are some of the perks are that you get exclusive item for the first time you become a member. Um, you earn extra coins when selling items at the general store and extra items will be available each day at the general store and the clothing store. So there's also a one bonus daily goal. So that will allow you to earn more wish coins each day. And so there is a member box every week. You can get more wish coins from that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a little look around. And I think we're gonna start out with our wish before we go first to the city and then move on. Uh, we did a grand wish last time. I'm gonna try a great wish this time. So let's click on great wish. Normally I do good wishes. I try to do a good wish every single day um, in order to get some benefit and build up my uh, wish coins. I have 173. Right now in game, I feel that that's a good amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow a little and uh, choose a great wish. For a great wish, I can get a higher chance of getting rarer materials, more rocks appear in the village, speed up tree growth by one day, or random coin drops. So let's go ahead and click on wish and see what happens. Fingers crossed. And we got a higher chance of getting harder to find materials today, which is awesome. So I might be chopping down a whole bunch of trees today because um, that is uh, quite tough for me. Now this 10 here, I'm not really sure what that is, but that might be uh, part of the wish coin. So for this city, the stylist is still here and the blacksmith is still here. So if I click on blacks, uh, the blacksmith, you can see that all of my tools are already upgraded. Um, so everything is fully upgraded and the stylist, I can still come into the stylist and I can change my hair, my eyebrows, uh, my eyes, my nose, my mouth and other. So I'm going to go ahead and leave myself the same though. Let's save this. Um, but that's still here in the city area. Earlier, there used to be two gigantic, uh, piles of rocks. One was here where this shop is. The other is here where this shop is. And so let's go into this one, the one that has presents in, and see what there is here. So we can upgrade this, which uh, looks like I would need some hardwood to go ahead and upgrade the general store. So the general store is now out here. And for level two general store, the shopkeeper will be able to sell one more item each day. And it looks like hardwood is really the only thing. So I think I'll be chopping down some oak trees here pretty soon. Let's go inside instead though. And welcome to the general store. Every day the store will have new items or crafting recipes to decorate your village. The shopkeeper also has some items that are always available, but you're going to need some coins. You can earn coins by selling items. Just talk to the shopkeeper. So we can go ahead and complete tasks at the market stall, or we can also sell things to the shopkeeper. Ooh, that robot's pretty cool. Hello, what can I help you with today? I want to sell, I want to buy or nothing. So let's do I want to buy just to see what there is today. So for recipes, a picnic table recipe, wood birdhouse recipe, wood seesaw recipe, stacked stone recipe, 
wood signpost recipe, planter recipe. I think I have the planter recipe already. And then here we have the vase uh, daisies recipe. I think I have all of those. I might double check uh, after the video just to see. So those are the recipes. And as we walk around, we can also see some items, which is pretty cool that you can walk around. Um, this is going to be a beach bed recipe. Well, I don't have that, so I'm going to buy that. Here we have a recycling bin. What a great way to celebrate Earth Day to get a recycling bin for our area to remind me how important recycling, reusing, and reducing is. Um, that's a speaker podium for 8,000. I don't think that I want to waste all of my gold. I'm not even sure if um, I have enough left. I can't quite see that. So this looks like a toolbox, a toolbox here. And then um, this is available for uh, members. And so it is a toy robot. And then that would be 80 wish coins. I'll, I'm, I'm going to think about that one. I'm going to think about that one. I don't uh, know how the uh, memberships work for Prodigy English and Prodigy Math. I think they carry over. We might test that out at the end of the video just to see how that works. Okay. And so here we have our um, sewing shop. And let's see what she can tell us. Welcome. How can we update your style today? I want to try on new clothes or never mind. Let's go ahead and try on new clothes and see what's available. I just got these really cool red glasses, so I think I'm going to keep those. And I like my black shoes, so I don't think that there's going to be anything that I buy here today. But do come back and double check to see what is available. And there's also a member item here as well. Now I can walk around here and I can take a look. Oh, this is a pretty cool cloud jacket, isn't it? And then there's some glasses over here and a nice little outfit here for 300 and then a purple um, long sleeve shirt there. Now what's also cool is that you can go into the dressing room and you can get to the same area. So you can talk to the lady. We can talk to, let me get your name right. Apologies, apologies, Lacey, for calling you the lady. Um, and so you can talk to Lacey or you can just go right straight into the changing room if you want to change. So this is a really neat place. And let's come on out here. And then we will take a look at upgrading here and what we need. So we, we do need uh, 25 hardwood total so another 20 for that so if we want to do both of them that would be 45 45 hardwood and a little bit more wood so i think we're going to go ahead and do this um and so what we do in this game is we answer questions here to get energy now i've already answered some questions so i'm going to go ahead and just start chopping down to get a little bit of wood and um there's a lot of very cool resources to gather and there's some hardwood and it shows you, which I love. I love how it pops out what it is. So I got two hardwood and I got uh, one log, one wood. And then you get a stick for the stump. So all right, two hardwood again. This is great. And I might go ahead and gather some uh, roses as well today. Oh, you know what? I haven't checked my daily objectives though. So let's go ahead and take a look at our daily objectives and see what we should do. So um, collect any beach items. Ooh, we'll have to go to the beach. Uh, collect wood, 18 pieces of wood. Collect 25 pieces of iron. Collect 30 stones and earn 800 coins by selling things. Um, now the member goal is chop any trees. Uh, you get two out of six for that member goal. Um, and we will go ahead and I think we'll go, we'll go to the beach um, after we collect our wood and see what's over there. And also because we have iron for a goal and we have stones for a goal, um, I'm just going to focus on iron and then see how much, how many stones I get for um, the iron because iron contains uh, rock, it, contain, it contains stone, and it also contains um, iron. So you get two things from iron. So I normally focus on the iron now that I have a level two pickaxe. All right. The trees take about a week to grow back, but uh, there's a forest area now as well. I think we'll go up to the forest area to finish our chopping. Ooh, we've com completed a daily goal. That's exciting. I love to see that. 
All right, let's come on over here. We chopped down any tree. So let's go ahead and... Don't think I can collect that one yet, but that's okay. Um, I'll have to look into what the membership is and how I can go ahead and get that. Um, looks like the membership is going to be different than the Prodigy Math membership. And we'll take a look and see how that works. So here are all of the three people at the market stall, which I'll stop by to try to help out in just a second as well. So this is the forest area, which just opened up a little while ago. There were a big bunch of rocks there. Um, and it's really neat to have two different areas, the resources for each daily goal. Um, I feel like it's, it's uh, pretty easy to get that now. Uh, I used to run out of wood all the time and I'm not running into that problem nearly as much, so. So I think they did a pretty good job of balancing out the resources during early access. And um, one thing you'll want to make sure you don't do is just chop down all of the trees. Um, if you chop down all of your trees in one day, then it's going to take a while for them to grow back. So uh, when you start, make sure you're still thinking about being an environmentalist and saving those trees. All right. I love that there's two more buildings and shopkeepers to talk to, and I can't wait to see what they keep on adding. So lately, it seems like every single week there's just a little bit more um, added. So I really hope that they keep on uh, releasing stuff every single week. And it looks like the daily goals are now jumping up to the top, which is awesome. Um, that is super helpful. So let's come on over here. And this is another oak tree. So oak trees give you hardwood. If you need softwood, you'll chop down pine trees. You do need the level two ax for uh, pine trees. Okay, and let's go ahead and pick up some stuff on the beach. Go beach combing over here. There's a beach here, and then also the main area where our house is and the shops are um, also has that. So we need 25 items from the beach. And I think we should be able to get the uh, general store up to level two now. I'll check and see to make sure we have 25 uh, hardwood. I've been chatting so much, I really haven't been paying attention. So, And so, yeah, the daily objectives are fun, and um, it's, it's uh, quite exciting to go ahead and craft the different stuff and to upgrade the different uh, buildings. So there's a lot to do. Um, in Prodigy English. All right, get this last sand dollar and then let's head down the beach and then we'll head back to the other area, back to our home area out of the forest. Okay, we've got a few more items here and you can see the energy bar is just about down. So we might have, we might be answering some questions in a little bit. Um, if you haven't uh, started playing this, do check it out. Everyone can play it now. It is completely live, um, which I'm so, so excited about. The changes that they made during early access, each change has just made the game cooler and cooler. So I'm really excited to see where they take it. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that very soon uh, we'll be able to visit, visit each other's um, towns and kind of, you know, interact with uh, the buddies that you have maybe in class or um, other places. So it's always, it's always exciting to do stuff with people on Prodigy Math. And so I do hope that that element is uh, coming down soon for Prodigy English as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and just take a quick stop here. And we have 19 hardwoods, so not quite enough, um, but that's okay. We're getting close. And let's go ahead and see who we can help here. Fiona, hey, I heard you are helping people out. We try to. I want to build something for my friend and I need these materials. Shells and coral. This is the perfect day for this. We have plenty. There you go, Fiona. Here you go. Wow, thanks. Here's your reward. All right, 2,600 coins. Let's see if we can help Owen out. Hi there, I've been looking for some new materials. Could you help me out? Oh, coral, shells, and sand dollars. This is a great day. So 4,600 uh, coins for this. Here you go. 
Wow, thanks. Here's your reward. Awesome. And let's see if we can help our last friend, Logan. Logan, hello. Would you be able to help me? I'm building something for my dog, and I've run out of materials. Do you think you could get me these? Logan needs one vase filled with daisies. I'll come back later. Come back when you have them all. I need them by tonight. Okay, so when this happens, I need to check my um, uh, crafting. That would be a decoration. And I can actually build this. So one acorn, which I have, and three daisies, which I have. So I'll go ahead and craft it. It's a pretty strange gift for a dog, but, you know, whatever Logan wants to give his dog, as long as it makes his dog smile, right? There you go. Here you go. Wow, thanks. Here's your reward. All right. 1,550 gold for that. So let's go ahead and come on over here. Oh, actually, you know, we've got some trees over here. Let's go get these oak trees. And I think we needed six. Is that right? One. All right. So I can see that the uh, circle that was over here is gone. So that must have been the wish coin countdown for resources, which I stopped paying attention to. <laughs> so that should be two. And then let's see if on our way to the beach, we can find a couple more oak trees to chop down. And that didn't look like we ran into any. That's a sapling up here, which we're waiting to grow back for. And we're also out of energy. So if I click this when it's uh, shadowed over, you can see how sweaty and red I get because they don't have enough energy. So I'm going to click on this. And this says select two words that make a long O vowel sound. So the long O says O and uh, aw, aw, aw would be a uh, short vowel sound. So the coaches bought each player an ice cream cone. So O, O, that is the long vowel sound. All right, next question. Which word has two syllables? So a syllable is, it needs to have a vowel in it and um, it breaks it apart into the sound sort of that comes out of your mouth when you say it. Let's see what our light bulb says about syllables. Syllables, let's listen to it as well. So that um, if you're in the first grade range and uh, this is a lot of text for you, just listen to what it's saying and it will teach you very well. Syllables are parts of a word that have a vowel sound. A syllable can be identified each time a vowel sound is heard in a word. Example, the word table has two vowel sounds that can be broken into table. Table. Okay. So stop has one. Fun has one. Today has two. Today. All right. Which word has two syllables? Well, table. We already got that one from the from the blue light, right? So table, that's two syllables. All right, next question. Which word has two syllables? Dry has one. Page has two. There's two vowels, but the E is silent, right? It's making the A turn into a long sound, not a short sound. So even is the two syllable word that we want. Let's do one more and see if we can get enough uh, beach treasures. Two syllables, once again, page, siren, siren, that's going to be two. And then goat is just one vowel sound. The O and the A are cooperating, working together, uh, just like you do in class with your buddies. Okay, let's go ahead and finish picking up these. And then I'm going to try to ch chop down the tree and uh, see... If we can get one of these buildings upgraded. Let's go to the general store and see if we can just upgrade this yet. How, let's see how close we are. 21 out of 25. Okay, let's quickly find two trees, two oak trees, so that we can get that hardwood. There's one over here. Come back to me. There we go. All right, let's chop down. Okay, so that's three more. And with the stumps, the stumps give you sticks, but you do want to dig them up because digging up the stumps help your uh, trees to grow back faster. 
So your uh, trees will turn into saplings the more stumps that you cut down. All right, so we got one more there. And hopefully we get two out of this tree. If I remember correctly, we need two more. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. Wow, I always love it when I get three hardwoods from a tree. So, all right, let's walk up this path here and then we'll stop at the general store and upgrade this. I think we have everything that we need. All right, let's upgrade the general store to level two. So excited to be doing this on our first day playing with it. Woohoo! Awesome. So the shopkeeper can sell one more item each day. And let's just stop in just to double check to see if that happens right now. Let's go check with the shopkeeper. Hello, what can I help you with today? Let's see, Miles. I want to buy something. And so I think we had seven recipes before, didn't we? That was the vase. Stack stone, signpost, planter. Yeah, so that is all the same. So maybe it'll take effect tomorrow. We bought two things here. And... Hmm. Oh, it looks like, is this new? Rock Garden. I think maybe the Rock Garden is the new thing. That's that's kind of cool. Um, but I think I might save that for another day. Okay, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you are enjoying Prodigy English. It is a really, really cool game, and it covers so many uh, ELA, English Language Art Skills. Um, it'll really help with your reading, and um, I, I'm just really excited. So excited that every single person can play it now. Huge celebration. So uh, be sure to like this video and uh, subscribe so that you are aware of more when more videos like this come out. Okay. Have a great day. Keep on prodiging on and I will see you next time.